Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, it is your host, Raisin, aka Da Dick. You know, I was gonna get up this morning, talk about Russell Brands, maybe Hunter Biden, but I'm like, nah, nah, I ain't gonna do that. I feel like fucking with someone today. I feel like being a dick. So I was like, who should I dick around today? Osmosis. Hex. Then I decided on the AMP community. Why? Because it gets me the most views. So I'm going to fuck with you guys. You know, I proposed a theory not too long ago. That Amparis Foundations... Digital letters of credit are just a gift card. And that's what I want you guys to think. What I don't want you guys to know is that even if you were to visualize it as a gift card, I do not want you to know that a gift card has value. If you have a gift card and you put, say, $100 in it, it has a value of $100. And I don't want you guys to know that. I just want you guys to think it's a simple gift card that means nothing. That it is useless. When in fact, it could become a really useful gift card. And you may be saying, how could this be useful? Because it has value. If you put $100 into a gift card, it has a value of $100. It means it could be traded as an asset. So there's a potential that Ampera Foundation could down the road be creating an avenue to also trade digital letters of credit, to trade your gift card. You may be saying, why would someone do that? Let's say I'm running a company and I want to expand in a different region. I have these digital letters of credit, these gift cards that are worth money. I can sell them, trade them to another person who could use them so that I could raise capital for my business. So there are many avenues where people could trade these gift cards, these digital letters of credit. But I don't want you guys to know that. I want you to think it's a simple, useless, stupid gift card. That's all I want you guys to to think about when you hear the Empire Foundation talk about digital letters of credit. I do not want you to think of it as an asset, even though it is an asset. I don't want you guys to think of it as an asset. And being an asset, there are many opportunities in the DeFi world. Until next time, guys, fuck off.